Okay, morning, Dave. Let's do this. Morning, John. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Firstly, can I say a warm welcome to the new areas of the Windsor constituency. Langley, Engerfield Green, Virginia Water, welcome to a constituency where we have been neglected for decades. The most important issue for the different areas is to have an MP that will stand side by side with you through whatever issues you have now or will face in the future, where you will never be alone again. Whether it's a planning issue that needs to input from Parliament to change regulations or to address shoplifting where prosec prosecutions only start after £200 is stolen, submitting us to a mob rule behaviour. You see speeding cars, increases in antisocial behaviour, a lack of policing, growing knife crime. I will champion campaigns like a knife carries life, and life means life. With an independent as your MP, no political party agenda can stand in my way to get your local and national needs met in Parliament. The second question on growth. I think this is steered towards the political parties, as they are the ones promising growth, but supplying no detail on how growth will be created. I agree that growth is needed, and it is the only way out of our higher direct or indirect taxation. Taxation will make everyone in the UK poorer. It is the easy option for all political parties to push onto constituents. And you need someone in Parliament pushing back on this policy. So I want to give you one clear example of a huge growth opportunity. That is creating a government-backed bond. A bond that will allow an investment vehicle to be created of over £1 trillion. It will offer the highest returns to investors since the housing market in the past decades. This would release the investments from the broken housing market, releasing 700,000 empty homes back onto the market, allowing investors to sell 1.4 million second homes back into the deplete, depleted housing market. This would es escalate growth in technology, AI, green energy over the decades to come. This would create a similar growth strategy only seen in the Industrial Revolution in the 1800s. It would make the UK a global player and grow us out of the depression we are currently in. This is a real option for growth and an option I would like tested in Parliament. Can we trust the top three political parties? You can trust a political party to put a political party first every time. You cannot trust any political party in putting your needs first. This is proven by decades of broken promises manifestos that are driven to win votes with little or nothing being delivered. There is only a binary choice at this election. Vote for any political party and get more of the same, or vote for an independent to put your needs first every time. Swapping one party for another, expecting a different outcome, is just a wasted vote. Only an independent offers real change from the 5th of July onwards. In respect, in respect of students and degrees and loans, this is where I feel we need a responsible and grown up conversation. We have over 460 billion of unpaid student loans being predicted by 2040. We have an unpaid debt growing by 20 billion a year since 2023. I agree, we should have a fully funded solution in place for all students to follow any degree path of their choosing, but with a proviso that all students must pay back the loan within a reasonable time. No more non-payment of debt. This way, if a degree is non-fundable, the student has a choice to self-fund or look at other realistic options to repay the debt after graduation or go for an apprenticeship. But there will be a repayment schedule in place before and after the degree finishes. Student loans will be subject to normal lending criteria, protecting many students from an unfair debt burden. This is the case with a mortgage or a loan taken out by any adult. It is part of adulthood to take responsibility for yourself and the debts we incur. This way, all students can find funding easily, but the funding in place will be for suitable degrees or apprenticeships. Reducing student debts makes studying fairer, making university more accessible to more people of different backgrounds and raising the opportunity for further education to more people.
but with the adult responsibilities that come with it. The question was, would I vote for any other candidate? Unfortunately, as all the candidates have put their own needs before the constituents by standing for a political party, I am unable to vote for another. However, if they are brave enough to step aside of the bubble of political party politics, become an independent and put constituents first every time, then I could review this question. They are all good people, but they have just lost their way in the search for power and ego at the expense of constituents they pretend to serve. Only an independent can put people before politics, as I'm not comp compromised by political party agendas. Let's put people before politics on the 4th of July, our very own Independence Day, by voting for David Buckley, the Independent.